is EY's stream. He's been making videos for seven days straight with no sleep. He really hopes that you love them. So like, subscribe, and hit the bell before today's video so he can finally take a nap. Please, guys, he's going crazy. <laughs> What's up guys, Ewey Stream back here with another Minecraft video. And today guys, I'm going to be showing you a ton of awesome secret builds that you didn't know you can make in your very own Minecraft world without any mods or add-ons. That is right guys, 100% vanilla Minecraft, which means that this will work on literally anything you can play Minecraft on, whether you're on your iPhone, iPad, Android, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, or PC, guys, this will work for you. And we're not just talking, you know, baby boring old builds, nah. We're talking about some seriously awesome things, including a table that is only balanced upon water, including an actual penguin, that's right, a cute and cuddly penguin, and a cat stand, and finally, guys, is my favorite build of today, which we're going to be getting to at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around to the end, but an ice cream stand with actual ice cream in Minecraft, so when it comes to those hot, sweaty days where you're like, oh, whoa, you can take some ice cream and be like, hey, yum, 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 because, you know, who doesn't like a good ice cream, guys? Well, if you are looking for today's video and you like ice cream like I do, make sure to leave a like down below. We're going for 3,000 likes on today's video, and of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, you want to have the newest builds before anyone else or any of your friends do so you can show off to all your friends. Make sure to slap that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to ding 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 to never miss an upload. But with that further ado, guys, it is time to get into some awesome builds. Alright guys, so for our first build, you're going to need the following things. You will need some dark oak wood planks, some spruce wood stairs. Then you want to go ahead and grab yourself some acacia trapdoors and some spruce trapdoors. And then, you're also going to need some water. Ooh, I wonder what that's for. I guess you guys are going to have to wait and see. You're going to want to grab some quartz slabs. And finally, guys, to top it all off, some dark oak signs. All right, we've got everything we need to build. Let's get to this. The so first thing you want to do, guys, is build a 3x3 three three hole just like this. Then you want to go ahead and grab your spruce wood stairs and go ahead and line the outside of this hole just like this. And you can fill this bottom section in here with a dark oak plank. Once you guys have done that, you want to go ahead and around the outside here, build a one block wide kind of rim just like that. Now this is going to emulate the floor in your house. However, depending on whatever floor you're using, guys, it doesn't really matter. Like, I'm using dark oak here, but if you already have, like, a quartz room, it doesn't matter, guys. You can use any block as your flooring, but it's super important that you have stairs in the center here. Then what you guys want to do is build from the center, one, two, up, just like this. And then on the top half of this block, guys, make sure it's not, like, above. You want to make sure it is... Uh, perfectly smooth with this block, you want to go ahead and place trapdoors like this. Now to do this, guys, you're going to need to crouch and then go ahead and place your trapdoors. Make sure they're all facing the right direction so that they look nice and pretty together. Otherwise, my OCD is going to cry, guys. And then you want to break this block in the middle and place a another trapdoor in there. All right. And you can go ahead and destroy that block as well. Now, right now, this looks very, very strange. But this is about to become a table that is held up by nothing else except water and to do this guys we're going to use the brand new water logging features in minecraft so we're going to go ahead open this trapdoor in the center like that grab your water bucket crouch guys and then place the water like so then you can close this trapdoor and have a look at that guys it looks like the table is held up by water which you know science says you can't do that but guess what Using the powers of Minecraft, we now can. And to add to all of this, what you can do is grab your water bucket and fill in all of these stairs, all these stair blocks, so that there is no air. So we go ahead and do like that. And just in there. All right. And have a look at that, guys. Is that not a beautiful table design? Because this will really impress your friends, guys. Of course, you can't have a table without chairs. So grab your quartz or place them on either side. You can put as many chairs as you want around. But the simple design for this is quartz, guys. Then chuck out your dark oak signs on either side of the quartz slab. Then place an acacia trapdoor facing into the slab. Place that and then place a crouch. Place another one on top and close that in. And have a look at that, guys. You've got a really nice chair design, which I think looks really, really cool with this floating table, as I like to call it, guys. We'll just finish off the chair on this side. And voila! There is our water floating table. Doesn't that look awesome, guys? That is build number one. Time to move on to build number two. Now, guys, for build number two, we're making a nice little home for your kitty catties so that they're not going around your house and pooping everywhere. I'm looking at you, Sterling. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. My cat, it's just always poops everywhere. It's like, ah! 
Anyway, with that, I got off topic, guys. These are the things you're going to need. First off, you want to go ahead and search birch. You're going to need some birch fences, some uh, birch stairs, some birch wood slabs, and some birch trapdoors. That is right, guys. We got birch action going on today. Then you're going to go ahead and grab some of these brand new scaffolding blocks. I really love the look of these, and there's a ton of cool designs you can use, including the one we're doing now. Then you also want to go ahead and grab a carpet color of your choice. I personally think red looks really cool with this design. And finally, of course, we need some cats to inhabit this new home. We need some cats, and then we want to tame them. So I believe it is raw cod that you need to tame them. All right. We got everything we need. So this build is really, really simple, but it is super cute and adorable. I love it. And so what you want to do, guys, is where you want to build it, you want to place one trapdoor down just like this. Then on the left side of the trapdoor, you want to place another one. Press it up so it comes up just like that. Place a scaffolding to the right of it. Then place a stair, but make sure this one is upside down just like this. Now, I know this looks very strange at the moment, but it's going to look really cool in a second. Then you guys want to go ahead and crouch just like that. Place a birch fence above here. Place a birch wood slab here. Then you want to... Ooh, I did forget one thing, guys. You're also going to want to grab yourself some birch signs. That's right, even more birch action. You want to place a birch sign just like this with no text on it on either side. So it looks something like this. Now, this already looks really cute and cuddly for kittens. But we need a few more things. So what you want to do is place some red carpet on here just to add a little bit of color. You want to place a birchwood slab here and then place a, another scaffolding here. Now, this is one of those things that, like, I don't know whether you have one of them, guys, but essentially this is like a little play toy tree house thingy for cats. It's adorable and cats love it and your cats in Minecraft are going to love this too. So what you can do is go ahead and place a cat here. We'll go ahead and tame him. And then personally, I like to have a cat up here as you're a baby cat. I don't want a baby cat. Sorry, mister. But we're going to place a cat up here. We're going to tame him. And there we go, guys. Our design is done. I personally like having one cat here, one cat there. But another cat can also go up there. And then we've got a little baby cat who's just running around. I'm watching you. Don't you dare blow up any of my builds, you little baby cat. Look at him. Look at him. That cute. I get the feeling, guys, he is definitely plotting something evil. Either that or it just has really cute eyes. But that is build number two, guys. Time to move on. Ah, stay away from me. I know your evil plans. Hmm. Time to build on to build number three. Stay away from me. Now, guys, in order to prepare for build number four, my favorite build of today's video, the ice cream stand with actual ice cream, we need to get into the mood of cool and cold. And following on from our last theme, which was the cats, we're going to build an adorable fluffy penguin, which how could you not like that? So for this, guys, you're going to need to grab yourself some black wool. You're also going to need to have some black banners, two black banners and one white banner. You want to search acacia and you'll need uh, an acacia wood slab and then also an acacia fence gate. And finally, guys, to top this all off, you will need some buttons. This is a really simple build, but it looks great in any design. It, I, I can't look. These cats are going to love it. You ready for this, cats? This is about to be epic. So what you want to do, grab your black wool, go one, two, three, just like that, guys. Then you want to place a button on either side of the top block like that. It looks a little weird at the moment, but you guys will understand soon. Then you want to go ahead and place a acacia fence gate here. Activate it place an acacia wood slab on the bottom half of this top, uh, the top wool block. Then guys, the finishing touch. Place a black banners on either side of the blocks and place a white banner in the center. And check it out guys, it is an adorable giant penguin. And this thing would look great in a kid's bedroom or even just in your house to like, when your friends walk in, they'll be like, wait, is that a penguin? And you can be like, yeah. And the best part about this, guys, is it's like literally like bigger than you. And I think that's absolutely adorable. This is so cute, guys. And this, how could you not have one of these in your build? Look, the, the cats love it, guys. They are meowing in praise. But now we're in the mood of cool. It's time to build our ice cream stand with actual ice cream in Minecraft. Let's do this. All right, guys, so the next build, of course, is my favorite, but it's also the most complex, guys, so you may need to rewind and rewatch this because it's gonna be a little tricky, but it'll be definitely worth it, guys. So for this, you're going to need to grab yourself some beautiful quartz stairs and some quartz slabs as well as some smooth quartz blocks. Then you're going to need to grab yourself some ed rods. You will need four for this build if you guys are in survival. I know they're a little hard to get, so you can use iron bars instead, but uh, ed rods do look better. You'll also need two flower pots, You'll need some white stained glass panes. Ooh, wonder what they're for, guys. And that is going to be everything we'll go... Ooh, actually, not everything. We also want to grab some iron trapdoors. And finally, guys, some orange concrete powder. 
All right, that is everything we're going to need to, for phase one of this build, which is just the ice cream cut. And then phase two will be making the actual ice cream. So for this, guys, what you want to do is choose a spot where you want your ice cream stand and you want to place stairs upside down just like this. And you want to go one, two, three, four, five, just like that. Then on either side, guys, you want to go one, two. So it's three blocks, uh, three blocks wide and do the exact same thing on the other side. Now, this is gonna be kind of the outline for our ice cream stand. Then we're gonna place an, two end rods just like that in the center of either side. So bang and bang, ta-da! And we're going to, later after we finished all the ice cream build, guys, we're actually going to put a nice little roof on top of this, but for now, we're gonna leave that as is. Then you wanna go ahead, place a smooth, uh, you wanna place a quartz stair here, guys. You're gonna place a quartz slab here, so it looks, it looks a little weird right now, guys, but you'll understand soon why we do this. Then you want to place orange concrete powder here and place an iron trapdoor above that. Now this, in my opinion, looks like caramel ice cream underneath uh, like a freezer or something. You can use any color of concrete powder you like, just whatever flavor of ice cream you want. And this already looks like ice cream inside a tub. However, it, it doesn't look exactly like real ice cream. So we'll get to that in a second, guys. Then you want to place one, two flower pots just like that on the left-hand side and grab your white stained glass. And on the right hand side of the stand, guys, it will go one, two, three, and bring that back by one block. All right, guys, so we've got the outer frame of the ice cream stand. Now we need, I know there's a little bit of ice cream there, but now we need actual ice cream, just like it looks like in the store, guys. So first off, guys, you are going to need a cauldron. Ooh, wonder what that's for. You'll also need some water. You'll need an armor stand. You'll need a leather hat. I know this seems very strange at the moment, guys, but hang with me. It'll be very much worth it very soon. You'll also need some pistons, some sort of a redstone activation device. Personally, I, redstone blocks work the best. They're really easy to use. And then you'll also need some snow. So that's all the main stuff you're going to need. However, we also need some sort of dye. Now, depending on what kind of flavor ice cream you want, guys, you want to choose your dye. So if you're feeling like strawberry, go pink. If you're feeling like vanilla, go that classic white dye, or you're feeling like mint, go green, guys. It's totally up to you what kind of dye you use. This is just going to determine the color of your ice cream. I'm feeling like strawberry, so that's what we're going to do today. Let's grab that. What you want to do is place down a cauldron just separate from your ice cream stand, put water inside it, then grab your dye, guys, and dye the water whatever color you want your ice cream to be. Then grab your leather cap like so, guys, and click on the cauldron. And have a look at that, guys. It's going to give us... Uh, a pink leather cap. Now, this is really important because that's going to be what our ice cream is. I know it sounds weird, but you guys just hang with me. Then you're going to want to grab... Oh, we're going to... Actually, I missed one thing. You will need a quartz slab for this as well. So once you have your leather cap, guys, you want to come to this empty space we've left behind the stained glass. You want to dig one block down and place a quartz slab just like that. Then you want to place an armor stand right here. Make sure it is facing towards the back of the cart. You want to go ahead and go one, just like that, so it's in the straight formation, and place a leather, your leather cap on top of the armor stand. As you can see, guys, if you look at it from the top, it kind of looks like chocolate and strawberry ice cream, which is delicious. However, at the moment, you can obviously see it, a well, it's an armor stand, guys. It doesn't actually look like ice cream, but I have a solution. So what we're going to do, guys, is you want to go ahead and build up just like this, and you want to place a quartz block. I actually don't have one on me, so let's grab one of those. You'll need a block of quartz, guys, and you want to place that directly above the arm stand. Then above this block of quartz, you want to place one piston, and then you want to place a another piston right there. You can destroy all of that, guys. So you have this double piston system. Then you want to activate the top piston and the second piston, and when we destroy all of this... Have a look at that, guys. It actually looks like a like a ball or a gollop of ice cream, as you see, like, you know, when the ice cream person on this side, like, picks it up and he, like, scoops it out of here and then serves it into the cone. So, obviously, these flower pots are like cones, guys. He'll scoop the ice cream out of here and chuck it in the cones for you to consume and be nice and nice. However, you can still see a part of the armor stand. Oh, if only we could fix that, guys, but of course... I've already got a solution, guys. What you want to do is place one block above it, just like that. You want to put one, two, three snow on top of that block and destroy that one there. And the snow will fall down and look like a coating of vanilla ice cream. So now you've got strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate ice cream all in the one jazz. Looking very, very tasty, very, very nice. And the ice cream man on this side can go ahead, scoop some up here, and serve it in your flower pots. 
All right, guys. So now that we've got actual ice cream and a stand, it's time to put the finishing touches on this to really add a little bit of extra detail. Now, first, the ice cream on this side, our caramel ice cream is a little bit exposed. So in order to fix that, guys, what we're going to do is grab a birch trapdoor, all right, and we'll place that here and just close that up so, you know, the ice cream isn't getting exposed to the heat. Then we want some ice cream inside our flower pots or cones, guys, because I think flower pots kind of look like cones. So what we're going to do is you want to search mushrooms and you want to grab some red mushrooms. And as you guys can see, that's going to look just like red, uh, I don't know, strawberry ice cream with like little vanilla um, or white chocolate pieces in them. So that's going to be our little cones with strawberry ice cream. And finally, guys, we want to put a roof on this ice cream stand. To do that, guys, you're going to need some string. Ooh, why would we need string? I guess you guys will have to wait and see. You're also going to want to grab some pink and white carpet. Then this is a little bit of a tricky bit, guys. You want to place string above our two uh, flower pots here, and you want to place string all above our white stained glass as well. Then on here, guys, you're going to place string coming out, and you want to place it in this... Oh my gosh, it's so tricky. Ah! Ah! You want to place string all in this second layer as well, guys, just like that. So you have something that looks a little bit like this. Now, the reason for this, guys, is this is going to allow us to place carpet on the roof. So we're going to place one pink, one white, and you want to go just alternating, guys. Pink, white, pink, up, uh, up, uh, pink, white. Ah, uh, why is it so hard to place carpet, guys? And you want to do the exact same thing in the back. So pink, white, pink, up, uh, up, uh, up, uh, no, please, up, 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 and up. Uh, we're so close. There we go, guys. And we've got our nice little roof to our ice cream stand. Doesn't that look absolutely awesome, guys? An actual ice cream stand with real ice cream, with cones, with ice cream. And I have to admit, guys, I'm pretty proud of this build. It looks really cool. It's got to be one of my favorite builds of all time. Looks really cute. Of course, guys, you can obviously customize this with any color you like for the ice cream stand. It's totally up to you and any color of ice cream. But that is build number four, guys. Moving on to our final build for today. Now, our final build for today, guys, is not just a small build, but this is a build that you can make as big as you want. It is a really cool design, and I absolutely love it. So as you guys can see, I've kind of built this, like, path here, guys, a nice little stone path. I've decorated a bit, but this can be any path that you have in your Minecraft world, whether it's wood, stone, doesn't matter, guys, any path you like. And what this is, guys, is... Actually, you know what? I'm going to let you guys try and figure it out. So what you're going to need for this build includes some scaffolding. Ooh, have a look at that, guys. We're also going to need some water. You will also need whatever block you used for your path. So in this case, I'm going to be using stone bricks. And finally, guys, you'll need some iron and some redstone torches. Huh. Very strange combination of items, guys. But this is really cool and is great for basically any build. It just adds that extra bit of detail, guys. So what you want to do is you want to choose two points on your path. Preferably the start and the end of it. So we're going to dig here and you want to dig one, two down. And then you want to dig all of this just like that between the two points. I've just destroyed my beautiful path. <laughs> but for now, guys, it's going to have to be destroyed because we're going to make some modifications. What you guys want to do is fill. You want to break all this space around here like so. All right. We're going to just fill. Ah! Well, that was awkward. We're going to pretend I didn't fall, guys. But what you want to do is you want to empty this entire area underneath your path, which is very interesting. What would you need to put under a path, guys? And you'll understand very, very soon. Then you want to grab whatever block you use for your path and fill in all of this space that we just dug out like so. All right, and we'll fill that in. Bang. And then finally fill in the bottom super easy. So you get something that looks like this. It should be a two deep column here, guys, with... Um, with not much in it at the moment, but it'll look awesome very soon. Then you want to go and look for the center of your path, and then you want to dig a block out here and a block out here. And at the moment, it looks ugly. So we're also going to fill this in with these stone bricks, guys. And you want this to go about, mm, I'd say about two blocks back, guys. So from here in the center, you want something that goes two blocks back, and you want to just decorate that in with the stone bricks. All right, guys. So it should look something like this. Oh, don't put the water down should look something like that. You're going to go ahead and grab your redstone torch and you want to place this at the very back and place iron bars in front. Then do the exact same thing on the other side. Now, in case you guys hadn't noticed by now, we are building a sewer. And normally sewers, they're, they're pretty old. People have been building them for ages, but with these scaffolding blocks, you can really take that to the next level, guys. So if we go ahead and fill all of this in with water here, guys, and we place a scaffolding here, it'll actually fall down into the sewer. And then you can place one above like that, place one here and place one there. Then you can go ahead and fill in the rest of your path. And if you have a look at this, guys, 
it is a really, really cool design for a sewer because not only do these scaffolds look like little grates where the water falls into the drains, guys, but it allows you to build an entire sewer system that is easily accessible. So if you guys see, if you go ahead and actually shift, you will come through down into the sewer. And then if you sprint, guys, you can actually swim through your sewer. And of course, we have those redstone lamps to light everything up. You can swim to the other side and then you can go ahead and just hold space and that'll actually, so as you guys can see, you hold space and that'll bring you to the top of your sewer. This allows you to have an entire sewer network between all your buildings, guys, that will work as like a secret transport system if you want to avoid any friends, you want to avoid any mobs, guys, you'll be able to go through your secret tunnel of sewers, guys, which I think is just absolutely awesome. Not only does this work great for a your own build, but this will work great for any horror map or secret adventure map, guys. So those are our five builds for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video, learned something new. If you did, guys, promise me you'll leave a like because, you know, it took me a while to come up with these builds, guys. So I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like and subscribe on today's video. That brings us to the end of the video. I will see you guys in the next one. And until then, EY Stream out. Yeah.